Oh, good morning. It stopped raining, but it's still windy out there. So let's see what today brings. So I've just come upstairs to get dressed. It has started to rain outside and we have Kenny on my bed. And then here we have a lump. And who is in the bed? It's Norman. The sun has come out and I've just been through the overnight footage and I am just so excited. There's not a lot because the rain did stop play. However, the bits that we can see, you guys are going to be well excited as well because I am super chuffed. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Visibility, as I predicted, was not going to be brilliant on this because of the rain on the camera. But here we actually have two cubs. The one nearest to us looks bigger than the one at the back. However, when they go together, like now, they're the same size. We just need to find out if they're boys or girls. One of the cubs has come back again. I have sped this up a little bit. And next we have Chip Chip just leaving. And guess who this is? It's Ringo. He hasn't been for four weeks and three days. In saying that though, he looks really, really healthy. He's a big size, so he's probably overeating wherever else he is getting the food from. But it's just so lovely to see him. The wound has almost healed, I think. Just a little bit of scarring there. Anyway, he was around for quite a while. One of the cubs is then back again. He's there for a little while, having a little look around, sniffing at the light, etc. Eats from the tray before leaving again. We then have two seagulls arrive. And then a few more join. It's like we've got the whole flock. There is nine of them. They have dislodged the tray from the rubber mat very slightly. Flo then turns up this morning. It's been a few weeks since we've seen her. And then Ringo comes back again. He licks the tray and somehow manages to move it off the rubber matting. And then he decides, I'm having that. And he runs off with the rubber matting. Look who's here. And off she goes. So Sybil is approaching from a different direction this time. Come on then. Come on. Good girl. Here we go. Do you want this one instead? Because I know you like these, don't you? Yes. Good girl. It's lovely to see you. We've been shopping, we went to farm foods and home bargains. So I picked up some more nuts for the squirrel and I don't even know what we got in home bargains. No, not home bargains, farm foods. Can't remember. Carol got coffee. I can't remember. Is that an age thing? Or am I blonde or am I tired? I don't know. Anyway, for my lunch, I've got a salmon sandwich with a fruit scone i've got some whelks from yesterday and i've got my ox flavored crisps and as always a cup of coffee so i've just come to check on the cats and they're both on my bed so norman has got out of my bed he must have got a bit warm and kenny it's that face <laughs> bless his little heart he looks a bit grubby actually we need rain. I know that sounds stupid, but he's more white once it's been raining. Norman is just fast asleep. Tonight's dinner, Karen is having chicken and mushroom, pucker pie with chips. She's not terribly hungry, so she's not having many chips. Carol is having all steak pucker pie with chips. 
and I'm really not very hungry but I'm having a couple of pieces of chicken with a few chips but I'm still full up from my lunch but there we go I'll eat what I can so it is nearly 10 30 it's 10 25 I haven't seen anybody as yet apart from one of the cubs that did come up really really close while me and my sister were out here in the porch and it came running over but both Kenny and Norman are out it saw Kenny turned and went the other way but there's been quite a bit of activity going on including an ambulance just up the road there so I am going to put out some of the cooked food and a few chicken wings the uh, raw mince chickens out there as well and then see who comes if it's the cubs it'll be caught on bottom camera if it's one of the others I'll be coming out anyway we'll see you soon so Pip is first to arrive and Pip is first to leave again and whilst I was just sat, there's a cub over there behind the, look, see it running across the road, chasing after Pip possibly, just hiding behind Dave slightly, now it's run into the garden. Right, I'm going to sit out here and wait a little while longer. Monty, I think the hedgehog just went to come and then Pip turned up and Monty turned around and scarpered, so I didn't even get a chance to video him. Barely got a chance to video Pip then, he was so quick, but let's see what happens next. Pip is on his way back. Hello, mate. Hello. Good boy. Whatever that is above your eye doesn't look too bad, does it? I think it's more or less just a piece of fur missing makes it look worse. What's going on out there, huh? Or there's a cub just to the right of Dave just waiting to see if he's brave enough to come over good boy look hey baby hello it's okay oh he's gone running up the road wagging his tail look oh bless him oh that was so cute Oh, Pip's just over the wall there. No, he doesn't want the chicken, he's going. Okay, there we go then. We saw Pip and a cub. So Pip is back again. And I think Ringo went to come over. I'm not 100% certain on that, but then something or somebody came i think a car came and he ran off but i believe ringo is about as well and at the moment i can see a cub right at the top of the road i'm not going to swing the phone round to see it because it won't be very clear pip certainly around tonight it's okay it's only me moving does make me laugh the way they pick out what they like the most. See, Jimmy would always pick out the sandwiches. Pip's picking out the chicken. Okay, bye. Right, there we go, that was Pip. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back indoors um, and see what I can capture on the bottom camera because I'm sure Ringo was around and I'd like to just see him on the bottom camera because that's the closest I'll get to him. Just so I can check that wound that he had but from what I saw on the overnight it does look like it has totally healed and he's just got a bit of scarring and even his eye didn't look quite as bad so hopefully it's totally okay now but I'm just amazed with the injury that he had how he survived that because we never managed to get the antibiotics in him because he didn't come for two weeks after I first saw him but anyway he looks healthy enough just have a quick peek out no, there isn't anybody about at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to go in and see what we can capture on that bottom camera. All right, and I'll see you again soon.